Us van lifers are pretty innovative and creative people. We seem to adapt to just about anything the world can throw at us. Come on, we're in a pandemic, we have no way to shower, but it's us van lifers that are like, whatever man, we'll just use a creek, no big deal. We don't need a barber, we'll just cut our own hair. We always seem to adapt in the greatest way possible and always seem to shine bright on the opposite side of everything. Sure, I smell bad, but I'm happy. Today's video is sponsored by Jackery. This little lithium ion battery has been powering my van now for about two years and it's never skipped a beat not even once. I can charge my laptop on it, this Explorer 240 can run a Magic Bullet blender and it also has USB plugs so I can charge my cell phone and other mobile devices. It is an amazing little unit and I think everybody who buys a small compact battery like this will have this for the rest of their van life. So this little battery used to power everything inside of my van from my roof vent to my LED lights. I now use that battery for everything that I need for outside power. Cutting my hair, trimming my dog's nails, or just running the Bluetooth speaker at the picnic table. I think it's a great addition. The links to all the Jackery stuff is in the description of this video. And thank you Jackery for always having our back. Oh. Oh. What do you think? I ordered myself a blue crew neck with the logo on the front. <laughs> Super stoked. Anyway, you guys, now that I'm semi clean and kind of semi fresh, um, this morning I kind of felt the need to talk about this pandemic and also a topic that comes up a lot pre-pandemic. And that topic is... <laughs> so many people commenting on my videos and I've this is probably the most common thing I hear is that, oh, they're cracking down on van dwellers. What are we going to do? Cities are pushing us out. What are we going to do? And all this thing that seemed to be such a huge problem. Huge. I mean, I, I don't see it much. I see some local communities pushing back on the highly visible van life, like the, uh, on the RV life, like the camper, like the big old campers and uh, the giant tarped up RVs. That I understand anyway. But so many people are like, oh, Chrome, what are you gonna do? I hear they're shutting down van life in Victoria, BC. And then, then I heard Squamish, BC. That's it, they booted them out for good. They're done. So for as much as, it headlines five pages in on a newspaper, <laughs> stuff like that, or you see it on a Facebook advertisement or a Facebook news thing. We're not that big of a problem. And I think this pandemic has showed us they don't even think about us. We're not even a passing thought on their mind. The only time us van dwellers are a thought is when somebody in the community, like a resident, doesn't just say someone had a house here and there was van dwellers parked along here every night that home guy is going to cause a problem he's going to call the city that's going to turn into news and that's going to turn into them saying all of port moody bc wants the van dwellers out because one loud person in a house over here that doesn't want to see them every day think of the homeowner that makes sense these guys shouldn't be sitting here every single day they should move okay that that's really where all this new stuff comes from it's never a ginormous problem sure like any life or lifestyle we have a homeless community in vancouver we also have a borderlining homeless vehicle dwelling community as well who can't afford to drive their rvs or their rvs don't even start and they got tarps on it because they're leaking they're just kind of pretty much surviving in one spot because they can't drive their vehicles absolutely anywhere so the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because during this pandemic, they have talked about the homeless community around here. They've uh, talked about separating them on the streets. They've been putting them into, into cheap, small little hotels in Vancouver and uh, doing what they can so they can keep clean, so they can keep their distance, so they can wash on a regular basis and keep the COVID-19 down on the city streets. But have you ever once heard them talk about 
the van dwellers during this pandemic? You think anybody in any office anywhere said, hey, hold on a second here. We're talking about the homeless. We're talking about everything else. But what about that little van community that's living on the side of your road? Someone's drive by a big smile on his face on his bike. What about that van dwelling community we see downtown? How are they washing? How are they keeping clean? Hold on a second, all the showers everywhere in this city is shut down. Every shower. Nobody's thought about us, which isn't a bad thing. It's a gross for us to do what we can to keep clean, but it's not a bad thing that they're not thinking about us. That's kind of showing you and the rest of the world who is a little bit worried about it that we're not that big of an issue. Sure, when there's nothing else to highlight in the news, they're gonna talk about us. You know what I mean? And if it wasn't for reading articles in the newspaper or on TV, nobody would know about it. Because the van life community, we're spread out, at least around this area here. Sure, you get some areas where they accumulate, but 90% of the van dwellers in these areas are spread out all over the towns, all over the cities, everywhere. So the towns don't know how big of a family and community we all are. So taking a look around this entire world, there's probably a million and a half people, maybe two million people on this planet that live mobile like me and like some of you guys, but they're not thinking about us right now. So for those who are a little concerned about starting van life because maybe the world's got a big problem against us, maybe let this time show you guys that we're just here. And the only time they cry about us is when some people complain about us. And that's not the entire van life community as a whole. That is always based on those certain amount of people that just don't think when they park their van at night or don't think when they sit in one area for a week solid thinking that, hey, I have my right to sleep here. A majority of our community is respectful of where we live. We know it's an absolute honor to have the opportunity to sleep in a town or a community to do some business in town and then move on down the street a lot of us think that way i don't feel like i have a right to park anywhere i want i don't feel like that's a right i feel like that's more of a privilege that's why i respect the areas that i'm in that's why i move on a constant basis so i'm not an eyesore or being obnoxious you know because i think if a neighbor sees a van pull up then it's gone and he, did, he doesn't see that van back for another week. He ain't gonna care. You know what I mean? And that's why I always tell you guys that most people don't care. I don't usually van dwell in areas that have heavy van dwelling presence. Yes, when I go back to Vancouver, I do visit Spanish banks usually for a couple of days or a week um, because it's, it's home for me. That's where I feel like my whole van dwelling journey started was there. So it's comfortable and I enjoy going back and visiting it once in a while, but then I'm gone. I won't be back there for now. I probably won't be back down to Spanish banks until probably Christmas. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, yeah, because the cities haven't thought about where are these van dwellers showering? Nobody. And now that everything's starting to open back up, they're still not thinking about us because now that the community centers are, are talking about opening, and the gyms are opening as of May 25th, they still haven't thought about us. So I got a notification from my gym saying, ta-da, we're opening as of May 25th. And guess what? Our showers are closed. <laughs> we got nowhere to shower. We're doing the best we can out here in this crazy time, but the communities, the cities, the governments have never even thought about us for a single, single second. If you're living in a magical area where they have, awesome. You have a good community around that's thought about the few vans kicking around going, hey man, let's give this dude a, this dude a shower <laughs> once a week because he smells bad. The only place that's done that out here is Squamish, BC, which is about an hour outside of Vancouver. Um, they've opened up their community center for two hours in the morning and I think uh, two hours in the evening or something. So the vehicle dwellers and stuff like that in town can come in, grab themselves a shower and peace out which is beautiful. I think every community should have done that for us or for the people who don't have access to staying clean. That's a beautiful thing right now. Because if you look at it, 
Don't you think having a shower is probably the best thing you could do for this pandemic? Keep us dirty boys clean. <laughs> Keep us dirty girls out here living in our vans clean too. Um, but yeah, you know what? Um, another thing I have noticed though is that this pandemic really shows who is true to van life and who really could use the luxuries right now that we don't have access to because I don't have access to any luxuries. Before, when I had my gym membership, I could drive into any Anytime Fitness anywhere across Canada or the US if I was down there and go have a shower. That was a huge luxury. And now that I don't have it, I'm surviving. Look at me, I look good. I'm all right, freshly cut hair today, cleaned up, shaved, spot washed, everything else. New shirt on, I feel awesome today. But that's the difference between somebody who will always survive van life and somebody who can't hack it is the ones who can't survive in situations like this. Van lifers adapt. That's what makes us so amazing. We're creative, we think outside the box. We're always like trying to innovate something inside the van just to make it function and work because we live in a space that damn small. But anyway, guys, if you're thinking about getting into van life, I think there's no better time than to get into it than right now. Um, I've believed that every day, that the day you think about it is the day you should jump in and do it. And I know this whole pandemic is going to start a whole new side of van life that may not have been in it before. And that's all the prepper style people that are like, forget it. These van dwellers, they were smart. They're ready to go anytime. So I think besides the influx that we were seeing before, I think we're going to be seeing a whole new side of van life because of this whole BS stuff going on. So hopefully you guys are staying clean out there if you're living in your vans, making the best of it like, like the rest of us are. And if you are in a community that offers free showers, can you do me a favor, leave it in the descriptions of this video to help any van dwellers that are in those areas to grab a shower because that has been the worst part about all of this stuff. The worst part about my entire van life so far has been this pandemic. Sorry guys, there's a giant train coming back there. It's been the pandemic. It, the pandemic hasn't been so much crazy. It's the lack of showers and being able to keep clean and losing that luxury that, that I kind of took for granted sometimes. So all in all, we've all learned a lot of lessons. We've all learned a lot about ourselves during this time. But I don't think the communities hate us that much. You gotta remember a lot of the things you see are news articles. That's usually one or two people crying in a neighborhood and then it makes the news. Now it's, oh my gosh, the whole town is, is freaking out. It ain't. It's a couple people in a home that are irate and have called the news and have called authorities and just wanted to make a stink about it. Um, we're good people. We all are good people. So keep your van presentable. Always smile and say hi to everybody that walks by you because damn it, we're a part of the community that we park our vans in. We're here, we're here for good. We ain't going nowhere. Van life has been around since like the damn 70s when, when the whole hippie thing took off and it's never gonna stop. Vehicle dwelling is something that will always be around and I think every community, all those people on the motorbikes are like waving, super nice. The people react when I hold my phone camera out and I'm in the middle of a road. Um, I don't know what I was saying. I got squirrel <laughs> I do that sometimes <laughs> oh my gosh all right you guys take care of yourselves out there hopefully this video kind of eased some of the thoughts what some of you may have about van dwelling and what the world thinks about us 95% um, of the world around here they don't care what we do as long as we keep moving every day we never leave garbage behind we're respectful and super friendly sure the areas that you live in may change the outlook on things because i know some areas are they frown there's it's just the community itself if you don't live in a place that that, that doesn't like van dwellers move your van to a town that that has no problems with you you don't have to stick around those areas that's a great thing about having a steering wheel in your home drive your home to another province or state or town or something that seems to be welcoming you guys so um i love you guys hopefully you guys are all doing really well right now and um we're gonna let you go i feel super good this morning i gotta go grab a morning coffee now i brushed my teeth for so long this morning that when i rinsed it out my mouth was just burning all right you guys take care